All right, guys, I've waited a long time for this PS5 unboxing. I don't think I've ever made an unboxing video before, so this actually might be the first one. Close, this is my first unboxing video? Yes, sir. Wow. But I just came to confess yeah. that I'm just feeling so blessed. Bless. I'm just feeling so blessed. So blessed. So blessed. I'm just feeling so blessed. So blessed. Wake up every day. So first, I would like to thank God, of course, my parents, <laughs> grandparents, you know, as I accept my award here. Uh, of course, Chloe as well, because you just got to thank Chloe anyway. So I ordered this through PlayStation Direct. There we go, nice little shipping receipt. And here it is. The Horizon Forbidden West. Dun, da, 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 da. Hey. Da. That is absolutely beautiful. Don't well, drop it. <laughs> Child, it. please. You gotta share it with me. And he waited for I got home to open it, so. Because we're gonna make content. Yeah. So as you can see, the Horizon Forbidden West bundle edition from PlayStation Direct, only $549. I think that's a great deal. Previously, for previous generations of PlayStation, typically when you get a bundle, it's just included free. You get the you have to pay fifty extra dollars, which isn't bad since the game costs like eighty or ninety. So I think five forty. What do you think? That's a good deal, right, Chloe? Chloe Coops in a building. Word. So I also have to shout out my boy, Captain Nate Golston in the Air Force. He just got married. Congratulations, Nate. And he told me that this game is incredible. So th that's, that's what made me be like, I don't want to get a bundle just for the sake of getting a bundle. I also wanted to get a bundle that had a game that I wanted. Unfortunately, the uh, Miles Morales one wasn't available, but I will be getting that game for sure. So let's uh, open it up. So as you can see in the top right here, HDR, which is dope. 4K, 120 frames per second. That's insane. And of course, go, goes all the way up to 8K. And Chloe, if you don't mind panning over here, we have our Samsung 55 inch. We're actually watching the Cowboy right now, hey, Tony Stark Jr. Hey, Tony. He's streaming right now. So I was like, why not have him on in the background? And as I'm sure you guys know, it is, I think this is the preliminary box. So with the Horizon Forbidden West bundle, you actually get two PS5 boxes, which is pretty cool. But I will say only one will be kept out of nostalgia. I always keep every one of my boxes, every single one. I'm a hoarder in that aspect. So our second PS5 box. Put that off to the side. This is real nice. Oh, okay. So they changed it up. I was looking online and before they had two boxes, but now we only have one, which is cool too. Saving the environment. Well done, PlayStation. So at the top, we have all of our utilities. So of course we got the, the manual for the uh, amateurs who've never picked up a PlayStation. Don't know who you are, but good luck to you. We have the stand, which I'm very excited about. I've actually never mounted any of my PlayStation vertically, like the tower. This will be the first one, just because of how amazing the design is. And we'll see that in a little bit. 
it is a work of art. So this is the stand, we'll put that off to the side. Also cool, they got their own HDMI cord. So I have big respect for that. Previously, you had to have your own. And over the years, I've accumulated a bunch, but I'm hoping that this HDMI is specifically optimized for the 4K, the 8K, you know, 4K, 120 frames per second. So we're gonna put that off over here. AC adapter. And the C-type cord, which is cool, it's uh, staying with every generation of, uh, I guess, USB out there. So obviously the, the most popular USB at the moment is the C-type cord, so that's cool. And that's gonna charge the new, oh, this is very nice, controller. Look at that. Wow, this is very sturdy. Ooh. Are you liking Willie Rock? My goodness. <laughs> so we'll put that off to the side. Very nice. That will be recycled. And now we have the main event. This part is tricky. Okay. Wow. Definitely the biggest PlayStation by far. So as you can see, by far, it is the biggest PlayStation, and I might say console, that I've ever seen. Like this is a proper computer. And when you see all the specs, wow, look at that. Look at that design. That's, that is nifty right there. I like that. That is, that is sleek, that is sharp. And I'll be honest, the amount of detail, you have the PlayStation logos inside the little crevices here. And just look at it. Let me move this out there. This legitimately, when I see lines like this, it reminds me of the modern uh, stadiums. Like, so football stadiums, soccer stadiums, which are also called football abroad. All the new stadiums are designed like this. So I, I love how you have the, the lines and this different contrast from each angle. It's a very sleek device, very sturdy. And I'm just so excited to play. So there you go. Also forgot to add the Horizon Forbidden West, I guess little card here with the pin number that allows you to unlock the game and download it from the PlayStation Store. And it's also in the box. For whatever reason, it gets stuck in one of the crevices. So if you ever get this and you don't see it, make sure you go through all the boxes before you throw it out. So as you see here, this is my current PS4 that I've been playing the death, right? And I'll be proud that it lasted me until the next generation, which is the point because I'm sure like everyone else, I was outgrowing the device because the as the games get better and better, they also get bigger in size. I mean, even the Horizon Forbidden West game that comes with the PS5 is 166 gigs. So it was really necessary for me to upgrade to the next generation besides already one anyway. So this, uh, this PS4 is obviously going to go into the, the wearing archives. Um, or it's going to put me when can it happen? No, what are you crazy? <laughs> For one, it has, it has Josh wearing on it Yeah. and uh, Batman. So it's <laughs> it's definitely mine. Okay. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you, Chloe. <laughs> All right. I don't get your hand me that PS5. Nope. I keep them. And now it's time to install the PS5. First, we'll start with the stand. So here is the stand to make our PS5 vertical. At the current configuration, this is what is used for making it horizontal. But because it's such a amazing design and frankly looks better vertically, and I never actually made it a tower version, and we we rewatched uh, Lord of the Rings. So ta uh, the tower is all about that. And it was as recently 9-11, so rest in peace to everyone in the Twin Towers, but tower themed. So we are supposed to 
move it this way and as you see there's a a nice little nut there <laughs> really close what do we mean high school nice little nail there and uh when you have it vertically like this this is for it to mount in that way so first we must remove this little hole here to install the nut. Where is my Smith and Wesson? Smith and Wesson, that's a, that's a ratchet. <laughs> you got a ratchet? There we go. There it is. Thank you. You gotta keep that or it's not just close? Hey, Chloe? Let's think of this as a, uh, a solo act, shall we? <laughs> and that this goes there. Keep it nice and simple. And then we are going to go like this. There it is. Screw it in tight. And voila, it should stand upright. Let's test it out. Oh, look at that, huh? Matches the nice decor here, stylized by Clo. Very nice. You gonna put it that way or sideways? Now I'm gonna make it vertical. I'm gonna plug all the cores in first. Bang, bang. Even has some USBs in the back. That's pretty cool. I'm sure they'll come in handy. I think it's huge. It is quite big. Big. You're right, Chloe. This thing is massive. Like one and a half feet? This is massive. This is behemoth. And it's kind of hard to see with the glare, but there is a USB on the front and also a C drive uh, import right here in the front as well. As well as the disk drive, of course. I'm going to get the disk drive. And the power button at the bottom very interesting stuff is that why people put it down like i mean you can depending on how your uh, setup is it might make more sense to have vertical or to have a horizontal it wouldn't really make sense yeah not for us but and it, it looks a lot better this yeah, way awesome, so. very nice so hold that please club we are going to put in the c the charging cord in the front and connect it to the new controller. Can I touch it? That's what she said. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very sturdy. Speaking of, I actually got myself a nice little gift to go along with this. Also from PlayStation Direct. And I got an extra controller. Controller. Dual sense. So because I'm a PlayStation fanboy, I already know to connect the controller. And let's hit the new PlayStation button on the front. Oh, there it is. Can you hold this please, Claude? Thank you, Your Grace. 
I'm very excited about this DualSense controller because it's incredibly intuitive from what you hear. So of course, English, United States. Adjust the display area. Okay. So as we continue, as we proceed. Adjust the orange. Brightness is barely. That's good. I can see that. Can you see that? It says adjust your PDF. PS5 HDR setting to optimize the video quality of your games. Press the up and down button to adjust the brightness until the symbol is barely visible. Barely visible. So I'm asking you, can you see that? Yeah, we need to make it lighter possibly. Like that? Yeah. I mean, I know I can see it. I was curious. I'm you not colorblind. I didn't say you were colorblind. <laughs> Just uh, only because visually challenged. I am visually challenged. But I always pass my clothes on to I could kind of see it right there. If you have a game this. Continue without. Okay. Control the amount of power consumed. <laughs> we might as well optimize it. Because what, I mean, whatever, we just pay the money. Can't be living your life wondering how much the bill gonna cost. You just do what you want. <laughs> oh, I definitely don't want that. It turns on remotely when connecting the app, and I use the app all of you know, that. Oh, yeah, no. But wait, go back. Apply the latest updates. Be sure to save your game. Let's do uh, let's do custom. Customize it. Three hours up. Stay connected. Stay connected. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I have to take the piece out of the oven. So we're gonna agree to the PlayStation 5 system software license agreement. Because we can't do anything else but agree. Right. <laughs> Reminds me of that South Park episode where people just want to uh, automatically upgrade, or not upgrade, just automatically accept the agreement without actually reading it. So that's a good uh, South Park episode if you're a fan. And it had to do with Apple. Mm. Update now. Let's see how fast it is. And we have the high speed internet, y'all. The highest speed you can get with Xfinity. So we have plenty of devices up in here. Put away your Smith and <laughs> your Smith and Weston shrink. Wait, so do we normally watch like our apps on the PS5 or is it on our smart TV? Hmm, it's pretty quick. Setting. When we watch our like apps like HBO, is that through our smart TV or is it through, through the Samsung PS5? Well, PS5 has the 4K thing now, so shit, we watched up here. I mean, we can, but our TV already has that, so... Do, does it stream 4K? So, it's or like... 8K? Isn't it 8K? I mean, but what content is 8K now? Not a lot, so... Mm. It's moving by the Oh, 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 oh! Your game, right? Here, we are supposed to use the PlayStation app to connect to. Can you see that? Yeah. Wait, I gotta like. There you go. Yep. So, shout out to Ezio Auditori Avatar. Yep. And of course, FIFA, as you can see. So, we are going to go to settings and sign in on a PS5. For whatever reason, it's saying you can't sign in. So, hmm. that, so that's are you uh, are you on our Wi-Fi? There you go. Should I put that on camera? I should be on camera. Right? No. Hey! There you go. 
there he is. Voila. Mon Voila, ici. Mon chéri. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Because you could be like, I'm solo dola, I don't want anybody in my info. <laughs> Casino lying now, trying to buy stuff. Oh, she won't be touching this device. <laughs> <laughs> you got that in writing? You got that on camera? Yup. She does. She never touched the PS5. You don't want to keep the PS5 hooked up? Plug your other one in? Not yet. You gonna sign me that one? No. There's no controller that is assigned to anybody. <laughs> that was assigned to you? Uh, no. I actually got this one from you. Well, you just assigned that controller to yourself. Right, but you can log out and then assign another one that logged in. <laughs> oh, wait. Amateur hour over here! <laughs> so I gotta get the white one? I'm gonna get a pink one. Yeah, right. Ooh. Ooh. Can't wait to play this game. Can't wait to play that game. Alright guys, thank you for watching this unboxing for the PlayStation 5. Let me know in the comments, what is the first game that you want to play on the PS5? For mine, for me, it was FIFA, of course. I'm going to get Madden, as you saw, Spider-Man Miles Morales, which comes with the original Spider-Man game, which is great. But of course, I'm going to get 2K and probably an Assassin's Creed, probably Origins. Cause I just recently went to Egypt, so you know, why not? But yeah, let me know in the comments, what's the first game you're gonna play on the PS5? And then I made that connecting point where I was just like, hey, people already eavesdrop. If you're out here having dope ass conversations while you're lit, it's like, why not? Why not put it into a podcast? He makes podcasts. He's here outside of the city. Pick his brain. I'm going to just be here.